A language dies when the last person who speaks it dies. But you know, sometimes people say it dies when the second last person who speaks it dies, because then the last person has nobody to talk to. Well, of course, languages have come and gone throughout history as communities have come and gone. But what's happening now is something really quite extraordinary. Well, there are about 6,000 languages in the world at the moment, more or less. Nobody knows the exact number. And of these, people think that about half of them are so seriously endangered that they're likely to die out in the course of the present century. Now, the present century is 100 years, half is 3,000 languages, so that means one language is dying out somewhere in the world, on average, every two weeks. There are all kinds of reasons why languages die. One is the physical reasons when people are affected by famine and disease and earthquake. Another is genocide when some countries deliberately try and stamp out a small language. But the main reason is globalization. That is, there are some huge languages in the world like English and Arabic and Spanish and French, and these are like steamrollers, crushing the smaller languages that they find in their path. A great deal can be done to preserve an endangered language. The first thing is that the people themselves must want the language to be preserved. That's very important. The second thing is that the powers that be must want the language to be preserved. They must have a respect for the minority languages that are in their care. And the third thing that has to be there, of course, is cash. It costs quite a lot of money to preserve an endangered language. Think about it. You have to train the teachers, you have to write books for the children, and all that sort of thing. It doesn't cost an extraordinary amount of money, but it does cost a bit. So without money, endangered languages don't have a positive future.